la and all that goodness there. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I've had my coffee. I'm a little uh, pepped up, ready to go. Um, this is the first short video in a couple uh, of videos that I want to show you today. A um, few of them, I think, are, are kind of behind on um, my videos or whatever, but uh, it's getting ready to go on a few night shifts, so i got some days here to uh, do some videos, so let's just get into it. This was a quick uh, pickup. This was one I actually couldn't um, get from Horizon Comics, so I went to another um, dealer. I can't remember. Maybe I'll post her name or not, but anyways, they came in great condition, and I was, I was happy with the uh, shipping and whatnot, but uh, astonishing, astonishing X-Men Xenogenesis, and this one... Um, I think it was like the last one on eBay uh, <laughs> there. So I think this series is really puttered out. Uh, obviously there's not much uh, demand for it right now. But I will say um, this issue was uh, fairly good, actually. Um, I was a little... I don't know. I didn't like the series when it started. And just too much Emma Frost in your face, just smothering you. Uh, just stupid, funny stuff that, that was just awful and that still remains. But... At least um, this issue was really good. It got down to business uh, seri seriousness um, about the whole story, and uh, just overall the the um, the story is this parallel universe jumper. They're sort of mutants, um, but but not right. And anyways, he's got this power to uh, jump parallel universes. Um, when he jumped to um, you know the Marvel 606. In this Africa place, he's basically like this, they call him a, a ghost box, a living um, interdimensional or parallel universe traveler. But anyway, so they call him this living ghost box, and so when he jumps here, the radiation from that jump um, spread out and mutated all these uh, these babies. Um, so in, in, the, in, in this one, they're sort of uh, saving the, the jumper and... Um, I'm trying to stop the, I don't know what they are, some kind of cyborgy sentinels after him to kill him. And uh, but the guy he wants to try to leave, and if he leaves again though, he'll create another, uh, you know, flash of radiation. So that's kind of what happened. But Wolverine just gets it to him real good. Just he gets full of holes. Um, this is kind of some blood gore and slash that is is great. Looks great. Um, goes along with the story. Um, you know, the blood doesn't look too heavier, like stringy molasses, like in um, Wolverine the Best There Is. Um, it's just all around enjoyable. Um, I do actually have the uh, issue number 5 of 5 as well, and I'll, I'll tell you guys about that um, in one of the next videos. But good, um, and I'm thinking here the, the Astonishing X Men series, uh, Xenogenesis, is ending off well. I can be happy with where it ends ends off. Um, I will say though, the whole astonishing X-Men lineup, I'm really peeved off at, because it takes you about what, in the regular astonishing X-Men, I think it's up to issue number 36 now, and you only get like an issue every, I don't know, every six months or something maybe, but I ended off at, I think 34 or 35? And that was months, months, months ago. And finally they're coming out with another Astonishing X-Men. Um, the whole Astonishing line I'm giving up on. I'm quitting it. I'm done with it. Um, there's some good story, some good art. But because it's so, I don't know, so late and, and everything else, I've just given up on them. Anything that has Astonishing in it, whatever I'm continuing, um, limited series or whatever, I'll finish those off. And then it's all, it's all garbage. Um, so... This one I picked up because um, Avengers number one, the uh, Dirgevic variant, um, because, well, I just didn't want to pay shipping just for one comic book, um, so I figured, well, I'll see if they got anything else that I might like. So I do like the new Avengers series, I like Dirgevic's artwork, so I picked this one up. Um, I don't know what other, there's obviously some other variant titles that connect it. Um, I don't think I've really seen those variants, but it would be would have been nice to to see them if they if I find them cheap or something like that that would connect to these ones because you can see Spidey's foot there so it might have been I don't know Avengers New Avengers and Secret Avengers that maybe all connected if you guys know about that just just let me know about that 
but really nice artwork, I think. Um, Dergevic's stuff is, is great. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm having a little hard time finding some of his stuff. Um, it's becoming less accessible to me and, and a little more pricey, so uh, it's hard to get some of his stuff. Um, and since this is a shorter video, well, going on a little all now, I can I can just blab and blab. But <laughs> I wanted to find an excuse to uh, show you guys this this little figure here. Um, and this is just a this is a custom made uh, judo master, the original judo master, Rip Jagger. Um, and uh, it is made from a 1994 Marvel um, toy. That's produced by Toy Biz. Uh, I can't remember what character that it was custom made from, but I bought this off of uh, a fella on the internet a long time ago. Again, this is when I was a bachelor. <laughs> this little guy right here, I spent seventy-five dollars on, and uh, a lot of you guys might know I really do like Judo Master, the Rip Jagger, the original, and just the stuff with that DC's doing with the Judo Master you know, character and its legacy is just, uh, I'm really cheesed at that, but this is a really cool figure, loved it so much, I, I talked to the guy and, uh, made this deal with him to, uh, purchase it from him, he made a bunch of other custom Charlton character figures, um, but I really, really wanted this one, so just went through PayPal and, uh, got it. I would really love to try to find a, a t-shirt that looked exactly like the Juno Master costume there, so that's kind of cool. So maybe I'll, if I could try to find the uh, um, the website where I uh, picked this up at, I'll try to put in a, a link for you guys to maybe see some of the other pictures if they're if they're still available. But I thought that was neat. Um, I'll hardly be able to pay seventy five dollars for a figure <laughs> nowadays. Um, I'd, I'd have to definitely save up if if I thought something was worth uh, seventy five bucks. But really cool. I think it's probably the only Judo Master figure in existence, <laughs> um, and I really wish DC would put out uh, a Judo Master figure, it'd be pretty cool. Um, right now they have the female Judo Master, I'd pick that one up, because um, she's wearing a variant of the uh, the original costume. There's also the Rip Jagger um, from the LA LAW uh, Living Assault Weapon series. Um, oh heck, how many, how many, how many are there? There's the original Judo Master. You have the uh, Rip Jagger Judo Master in his kind of his white outfit that uh, resembles Tiger's outfit, um, his old sidekick. You have another male um, Judo Master. I can't remember his name. He was only I think in Justice, Justice League Quarterly. Um, so he was only in like one or two issues I think, and then he was done. And then you got a, a female Judo Master. So four different versions um, of figures they can come out with, uh, you know, with variant costumes. So that'd be really cool. So DC, if you're listening, make a Judo Master figure, make me happy. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Um, and I got a couple more videos to show you guys of uh, some other um, Horizon comics. And I happen to go to a comic book shop on the weekend. So I'll show you guys those. Uh, soon. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later. Bye.